AMD is releasing a monster gaming CPU that changes everything. But before I get to that, Intel gets destroyed in Battlefield 6, and AMD is gaining massive market share. Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Before I get to the first story, there are a couple awesome deals I wanted to go over that are actually relevant to some of today's stories. And if you want to pick either of these up that I show you before they're gone, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Either way, starting things off, one of the best gaming CPUs out there recently got even cheaper. You can see that the 9800X3D is now selling for just $449.99. Now, that may not seem Seem like a great deal, but remember that we've seen prices get way higher than MSRP when it comes to X3D chips. But if that is a bit too much for you, AMD also has their 7800X3D for quite a bit less at $366. This one is obviously still one of the best gaming CPUs out there, so if you're interested in either of these, once again, I'll have links down in the description below. Now, if you don't have an X3D chip just yet, one reason you may want to consider it is with today's first story. As many of you likely know, Battlefield 6 is set to release this October, with a series of betas set for release this month. Well, it looks like at least one streamer was able to test the game early. That's obviously not too much of a surprise. The studio would want to drum up as much publicity as they can, plus get an idea of what people think about it. Either way, according to this streamer, he actually goes over FPS, specifically using a 9800X3D and an RTX 5080, he was able to get well over 300 FPS at 1440p native. But the kicker here is that, as you can see, he mentions that his friend is rocking an Intel Core i9 14900K and the same RTX 5080 GPU, yet he was short around 110 FPS compared to the 9800X3D. Now, I know what a lot of you might be thinking, thinking, yeah, but the 14,900K is a previous gen CPU. How in the world is that fair to compare it? But if you remember, the 285K is actually worse than a lot of games when compared to the 14,900K. So while yes, it is an older CPU, their newest one could potentially do even worse. Now, it would usually be right around here that I would say that playing at 4K would make this difference negligible given the GPU typically becomes the bottleneck there, but don't forget that this is apparently 1440p native, and given this is a competitive shooter, plenty of people would prioritize FPS over higher resolution, especially with all the newer ultra high frame rate monitors. With that said, he doesn't share any proof of this, he's just a fairly well known streamer, and I definitely wouldn't be surprised if he got early access to it. I'll also say that Intel has apparently partnered with EA to make their products run better on Battlefield 6. So maybe that gets better with time, but for now, it's not looking good. And next up for today, it's looking like gamers are taking notice as Intel CPU sales look to be cratering. As you can see right down here, within Germany's one of their major retailers for PC hardware, Mind Factory, recently shared their sales data. And as you can see, like it, it is really bad for Intel. The top CPU is, of course, the 7800X3D, then the 9800X3D, then the Ryzen 5 7500F. Ryzen 5 9600F, in fact, as we go down, 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 all the way down here, the first notion of an Intel CPU popping up is the Core Ultra 7 265K, and that only sold 90 units. Compare that to the top 7800X3D, and we're talking 2,950, and then tons more CPUs crushed its sales as well. Not only that, but it doesn't look all that much better in the US either, as you can see on Amazon's top CPUs, Intel's isn't in a single one of the top chips, making its first appearance at number 11. Not only that, but even in the newest Steam survey, we can see that AMD has gained some momentum here as well for July. You can see that we're looking at the first jump above 40% market share. Of course, Intel still does have just under 60% market share, but obviously a lot of these are much older systems. And of course, a lot of people don't really care for the Steam survey anyway. It's not 
all that great at giving us information. It's just one metric we can use. Either way, once again, it's really not looking good for Intel. And lastly for today, things are said to get even worse for Intel, as AMD is reportedly planning a couple new gaming CPUs, with one set to completely change everything. So starting things off, as you can see here, this originally comes from this Twitter user who, as video card states, is known for ties to board manufacturers. He has definitely gotten quite a few leaks right in the past. Either way, according to him, AMD is planning to release two new models of X3D chips. Both are based on Granite Ridge and both obviously feature increased cache. Now, the A-Core version is said to have a 120 watt TDP and 96 megabytes of L3 cache. That of course is identical to the 9800X3D, meaning this is likely a lower tier variant. I'm thinking something with just some lower clocks. We would call it a 9700X3D, something along those lines, but lower clocks, therefore it will be cheaper. But the really interesting thing that he talks about is this 16 core version. According to him, it features a 200 watt TDP, which is of course 30 watts higher than the 9950X3D and the 9950X, but the really big part is that it apparently includes 192 megabytes of L3 cache. And this of course indicates that we're looking at a dual CCD layout, each with 32 megabytes standard cache and each with 64 megabytes 3DV cache. And of course, we've discussed something like this in the past. There were actually early rumors for the 9000X3D that claimed AMD was doing this, yet obviously those didn't come to fruition. But maybe, just maybe, this is what those leaks were seeing. AMD themselves have talked about this and while they didn't say that it wouldn't help in gaming, it's just that it would be more expensive. So maybe they've been able to get the price down enough that this is cost effective? I'm really not sure, but either way, if this is true, get ready for a new gaming CPU to take the crown. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD to release an even more powerful gaming CPU, or are you more excited about that cheaper variant? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to check out those new deals down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.